Mushrooms. They're an excellent source of nutrients and great addition to any diet. The practice of farming mushrooms does not only provide a means for a healthier diet, but done correctly can be an additional or even primary form of income for a family or community. A few methods are possible, such as the low bed method or traditional pit method. But here, we're just going to focus on the simple but more advanced and lucrative bag method. The substrate is the material the mushrooms will grow off of. Sawdust from a local wood shop is both a common and cheap material to use. For every 100 kilograms of sawdust, it is suggested to add 7 kilograms of lime and 35 kilograms of wheat or rice bran. Chicken manure is also added sometimes for a nitrogen boost. The ingredients should be mixed and left to compost in heaps for 30 to 50 days. Every four days the material should be turned and moistened with water for proper composting to take place. You will need clear plastic bags, pieces of PVC piping 2 centimeters in diameter, cotton, and rubber bands or ties. Fill your clear plastic bags with the composted material as shown, leaving room at the top of the bags. Compact the material by hitting the bag on the floor and on its sides. Each bag should contain 800 to 1000 grams of material. Work the top of the bag through a piece of PVC piping. Then secure it with the rubber band. Place a swab of cotton in the opening. Although the bags in the next section won't have the cotton, all bags in an actual process would. The substrate must be sterilized through steaming to kill all microorganisms that might compete with the mushrooms. You will need a large metal barrel with a secure lid, a 12 centimeter wooden grate or stand to elevate your bags within the barrel, water, and of course a fire. Put your grate or stand in the barrel and add water to just below the top of the stand. Fill your barrel with the bag substrate. Stack them with the openings up except for the top row which should be inverted to prevent excess moisture from dripping down from the lid and spoiling the bags. 75 to 80 bags can fit in most barrels. Secure the lid, start your fire, and allow your process of steaming to begin. Steam your bags for three to four hours, then allow your bags to cool. Mushrooms grow from mycelium or spawn. Spawn is often grown on sterilized sorghum seeds and sold in bottles by a distributor or agriculture center. You will likely have to find one in your area before you even start your farming. Using a sterilized metal rod, break up the clumps of seeds inside the bottle. Then insert three or four seeds inside each substrate bag. Put a cotton swab in the opening of each bag. They are now ready for the incubation room. An incubation room should be dark, dry, and ventilated. The area should be clean and monitored for pests. Stack bags horizontally or vertically. They should be incubated for four to six weeks, depending on the type of mushrooms being harvested. Check the bags for signs of contamination, such as black, red, green, or orange spots. Remove any contaminated bags. After four to six weeks, move bags from the incubation room to the cropping room. Light and airflow should be allowed into this area to promote growth from your bags. Before stacking the bags, remove the cotton, rubber band, and PVC piping. Then open the bag and cut a slit from the start of the top of the substrate to the top of the bag. The bag should then be stacked with all slits facing the floor. The substrate should remain moist and cool, therefore the open ends should be 
periodically sprayed with water. The slits will help prevent pooling within the bag's openings. Mushrooms will begin growing in three to four days. Monitor for pest and contamination. Start harvesting the mushrooms three to four days after they appear. Cut them at the base and remove the ends before collecting them in a bowl or basket. Each bag should produce mushrooms for about three months. Mushrooms can be bagged and sold for year-round income and nutrition, enjoyed by both adults and growing children.